Hello everybody, my name is Susi Gazi. This is Gata and this is Brett. Um, we are here today in Costa Rica and you might be wondering what is going on with this horse? It's like sh shaking. Well, in Costa Rica you get very, very heavy rains and last night was one of those. And so she is still a little bit cold this morning, but um, it will change very, very soon because we will go out a little bit and she will warm up by moving. But if you see the horse doing this, that's why. <laughs> I am here today to introduce you to Conscious Horse, Conscious Rider. This program has truly, truly, truly changed so much in my life. I used to ride on a horse when I was a kid, but then I never really got back to it until I started going to access consciousness, which the tools of Conscious Horse, Conscious Rider is using. These tools help you to have more ease in life, to really have some pragmatic ways to change anything that's not working for you. And one of the things that was really interesting for me was to get back on a horse because everything I had ever learned about horseback riding was from that sense of like, I have to control the horse, I have to be firm with the horse, I have to have rules on how I sit on the horse, I have to know exactly what I'm doing. And there was also a lot of fear involved. And with the tools of access consciousness, what I became aware of is that we can start asking questions of our horses. What? What do you mean? Well, you can literally ask a horse to work with you. So for example, before I got up on her today, I said to her, hey, will you take care of me? And I got a yes. If I had gotten a no, I would have not chosen to climb on her, even though we had planned to make a video, even though I have a plan to go riding. But I now know that I need to also be aware of what is going on with her. She might have a bad hair day and she might say, hey, I'm not taking care of you today because there's something else going on. Well, if I listen to that, then I don't have to fall off later. <laughs> so. I really learned that having a question in my world with these guys is really a great tool to have. And that goes even further. What if you were to ask her to do something for you rather than being like, I'm going to make you do it. How much in your life do you like when somebody says, I'm going to make you do this? Or if somebody asks you nicely, hey, would you do this for me? So it's a very similar way, but we are including the horses in this class. This class is really about you having more of a sense of what is going on in this relationship with each other. What is it that we can have with each other that's different? So the people that show up for these classes are not all riders. Some people are afraid of horses. Some people that come have Olympic riding skills. It doesn't matter where you are at with all of this. This class will give you very pragmatic tools to change anything that is going on between you and these animals. And the interesting thing is horses are really gifting us a lot beyond just this like horse rider relationship. They can gift us a way of really showing us how we show up in the world. They have a sense of, oh, you are not being yourself today. Let me show you how you can be more of yourself today. So a horse will always facilitate us to be greater, to be more and to be ourselves. Because how much in your life are you trying to be somebody else or something else or you're doing stuff for somebody instead of really just functioning from who you are. And I know this may all sound really strange, but the tools of access consciousness are truly designed to give you more of you. And this class in particularly can gift you that in a much grander scale, just because you have these horses involved. So, and on a pragmatic side, what are the things that you can get out of this class. Let me give you like an example. Um, for example, we teach people that are sitting on horses to pull energy from the ground. 
So I'm going to do this right now more dynamically, okay? I'm going to pull energy from the ground through her feet, through my body and out the top of my head. So by pulling more and more and more energy, what I do is I give her more of a connection to the earth. I give myself more of a connection to her and we both have an easier way of riding. I will also be more aware that if there is anything going on in her world that might have her spook or that might have her go, what's going on, what's going on? I will know this before it happens and I can actually go, oh, what's going on here? And I can change it for her. So she doesn't have to go into reaction. So this is one of the tools you can use today. You don't even ever have to come to a class, but if you ride, please use this tool. Another tool is to expand your zone while you're riding beyond the zone of the horse. Now this is also like, what is she talking about? Well, every animal has a zone of awareness. That zone is where they are perceiving their environment. Now, if you ask your zone to be larger than theirs, you're immediately giving them the sense that you have them covered. You know what you're doing and you have them covered. And so again, it creates a bit of relaxation in their world because now they don't have to be aware of everything that's going on. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? But it's you who has that sense of like, hey, what's up? Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. So you're giving them more calm and the confidence in you, which really also can create a much greater ride. So these two tools we give in the two day class and now you have them. How does it get any better than this? So please enjoy these tools and please enjoy what you can have with yourself around a horse or with a horse. So if this is at all intriguing to you, please come and join us. There are many facilitators all around the world that are offering these classes. So look it up on accessconsciousness.com and find the specialty conscious horse, conscious rider. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.